Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Monster Jesus Monster Review video. So today I reviewed the newest Ancestral Monster Everest. Um, and this will be a level 1 to 100 review. The awakening on this monster is just crazy. You guys need to watch this. I hope you're all excited. If you are, make sure you drop a like, subscribe. Anyways, it's going to get started. All right, so we have some offers for the summon tickets. I want to also want to see what else is going on because I, I know there was also like a 500 gem offer as well, which I, I, in my opinion, I think is actually a good deal because it was like 500 gems, I believe some food as well, and then you get it for like 10 bucks. Um, I think it was one of these. So there's all obviously the gob goblars or whatever. That one's not worth it at all. This one right here, guys, in my opinion, I think this is actually worth it. If you want to go ahead and pick it up in game, um ignore the food the food is just a you know it's whatever um but the gems guys 500 gems for 10 bucks is such a steal like usually even on a discount 13.99 would only get you 300 gems 19.99 will get you close to 500 gems but not exactly usually without the discount it's 30 dollars. so 30 dollars, you guys can see basically uh the the difference right it's literally one third of that offer basically so uh even even something like this for example this, a smuggler's cave 220 gen for you know 10 bucks you know what i mean obviously it's um it's somewhat a better deal than purchasing regular gems obviously but you know what i mean this uh, other offer that i just showed you uh a bit like a few uh seconds ago is obviously better so anyways take a look at this guys we have everest the second obscure guys this is the newest ancestral monster and we were able to obtain it and we get two rune slots open it's better than one you know what i mean so we'll take it we have the syndicate book we have undead and family guys take a look at this beast we're going to place it and oh my gosh look at him oh look at that design that design is amazing okay i think he's actually a uh supporter if i'm not mistaken right maybe i think i mean his his uh ultimate you know what i mean that i seen uh, right here the original boss it resurrects all allies with 50 percent uh, applies double damage to all allies and possession to all enemies that in my opinion it, it literally looks like a a supporter uh like supportive type of ultimate um and then he denies with his ultimate as well we have dodge area immune to possession immune to fear status gesture area nightmares and then evasion status gesture as well to himself obviously so uh, some pretty good stuff for the with the traits you know what i mean obviously we only have it at level 100 so let me go ahead and collect this you get all those good rewards straight away right when you go ahead and hatch them and it just needs to be you know the level um level one basically you know what i mean uh, so just the egg, you know, hatching it will basically get you that. So we're going to go ahead and start feeding this monster up and get this monster up to uh, 100. And we got some uh, chicken legs towards the challenge. I, I think I know who it is. I saw it earlier, uh, the the monster challenge. And honestly, it's not really worth it for those of you guys that are like thinking about going for it. Um, but anyways, guys, we have the new ancestral here at 100. Take a look at this stat. So we get about 21,967 power, 533,228 life, and 13,992 speed. Now, comparing that with a few other ancestral monsters, obviously the, st the speed is not as high as, like, for example, Genesis. You know what I mean? The, na the, the magic one, the most recent one before this. Um, the life is actually tied with uh, which might call just justice if I'm not mistaken, and then 21,967 power is not bad. Um, so we'll we'll take it. I mean, uh, if I if I'm not mistaken, let me see 21,927. It's definitely higher than Grafania, obviously. Yeah, look at that. It's higher than Grafania, but I want to see it's not higher than just injustice. So just injustice still keeps up with that um, insane power stat, obviously. So anyways, what we're gonna do is take a look at the skills here. So the skills the four skills that you get straight away is tailored cape which is a moderate dark damage one enemy it's a spammable skill you do have a low light damage all enemies which is zero gold and 30 stamina moderate light damage one enemy applies damage boost to itself and then moderate dark damage and applies bleed to all enemies so it's an aoe skill one turn cool and 36 stamina cost Anyways, let's take a look at this. Evader of Taxes. Oh no. Applies evasion to itself. Massive light damage to one enemy. Obviously, we're gonna have to run that. Let's see what else we have here. Removes evasion. It's called I know I know. Removes evasion from all enemies. Moderate light damage to all enemies. Ooh, pretty good against monsters with evasions. 
lousy with power. We have heavy dark damage and applies fear to an enemy. All right, we'll take uh, we'll take some fear as well. Sure, why not? We have evasion with double damage this time. So I want to see. This one was evasion with massive, so at least that deals some damage, and then you have a double damage to keep as well. If you want to run an AOE skill, I would probably just run this one. I like the fact that it removes evasion for everybody and then deals the damage. Uh, I'd, actually, I'd actually pick that up over like a bleeding status effect. Um, and then we have I am my lawyer, which is a moderate light damage when enemy applies the damage boost to itself. And it is just a 50%. So I don't think anybody wants to run that. We do have the best skills here on forward. So at 105 at rank 1, you're going to be unlocking this one. Father, father of all gangs, which is a cold blood to itself, removes all taunts from all enemies, deals moderate dark damage, and applies bleeding to all enemies. That is actually a pretty good skill at 105. That's for sure a pretty good skill. Uh, then we have this uh, businessman skill, which is an evasion and double damage to itself. And then you're removing all tortures from all allies. I actually like that. I think that's kind of cool. You can definitely run this over this, for example. And then at brink 2 which is 115, you're going to be unlocking this one, which is a moderate dark damage while enemies applies fear and nightmares all enemies. Oh, I like that. I like that combo. Shadow Hand, which is an evasion to itself, insane light damage, um, and applies bleeding to one enemy as well. So I would probably run this over this later on if you do unlock this. This is actually pretty good. I, that is some insane power stat right there. It's probably like at least 80% or something or 75% or probably more. So this monster is pretty darn good with his um with his uh, skills. He definitely deals a lot of damage, especially this one. This one, like it's crazy. So yeah, if I were to if I had to run four best skills, I would basically just run all the four skills here. So you, you see all these four right here that are locked. If you can unlock them, they are pretty good. You could definitely go ahead and uh, use those. So anyways, we have dodge area. And then later on, we'll be unlocking immune to possession, immune to fear. So when it comes down to runes, you can run this monster as an attacker, for example. So what I would do, I would run two strength and one speed. I do want to take a look at his awakening to see what his awakening is. It says, attack three times will have evasion. That is so freaking easy. What the heck? So this monster needs to just attack three times while having ev an evasion. I really wish this monster had extra turn skills. Can you imagine? He would get his awakening even a lot, a lot faster like that that's that's just crazy uh awaken mode virtues so you get a spirit which is immune to a negative status effect Ooh, okay and then skill mirror what the heck this is new right i've never seen this before immune to negative status effect that is cool and then virtues are not affected by troy disabling okay cool special skill the original boss it resurrects everybody and applies double damage this is actually pretty good although i would say it does get um what should i call it this does get, get countered pretty pretty hard against monsters with resurrection block so what makes um i would say you know what's crazy a lot of players uh stopped or slowly stopped using this one monster and you guys know who i'm talking about i think I know for a fact, I know who's actually running this for sure. El Professor. El Professor has to be running it. There it is. So this monster right here with the resurrection block, the, the, the new monster, the one I'm reviewing right now, makes this monster more popular again, I would say because of that resurrection block a lot of players are going to be basically trying to stop the new monster from resurrecting or even Ural, for example then uh the best way to do it would be obviously to use somebody with the resurrection block which is again that's the only ancestral that i could actually do that um obviously not the only monster but the only ancestral uh is what i, what I was trying to say so anyways uh this is uh this is actually pretty easy to uh get the the awakening it's actually a pretty good awakening as well you can keep on resurrecting and keep on gaining double damage which is really good and also possess all enemies i mean that also makes monsters with the immune to control or immune to possession more useful i would say so anyways for now we're going to be running these four skills and like i said you can go ahead and run uh two speed and one strength uh, you got to make it the monster a little bit faster uh so that uh he get his um he gets more turns, he does more attacks, and basically keeps on resurrecting over, over again. You can even basically run this monster with uh, triple speed if you want as well. 
uh, because he's going to be dealing a pretty good amount of damage anyways. And if you could pair it up with like Yorl, for example, that's still pretty good. Um, I want to see how he'll actually perform here right now. His relic slots are amazing, by the way. Can you guys see this? Like this is, this is just amazing. So I'm going to do a Supreme Sword and then for an SN, we can obviously do a Revival one so we can bring him back. Um, so pretty good uh, relic slots for sure, I would say. Soldier Point did a good job with that as well. Um, but anyways, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to start to fight here. We're going up against two dodge areas and one taunt. By the way, you can do something like this, for example. You can run it with two dodge areas or triple dodge areas. It's up to you. Um, two, two dodge area with one taunt would be it would be pretty good combo. So if you have Dumb Bane, for example, you could pair it alongside that as well and it, it would work. It would work well. But anyways, I think that monster is... Uh, yeah, it's, it's dead. <laughs> with the triple SN that I'm running here on my monsters. Heck yeah, it's dead. Anyways... Um, I do survive, which is good. And let me see. I'm going to do my triple damage here on the monster. Okay, so he just needs to attack three times, right? And it just says attack three times. It doesn't even say, like, it, it, needs, to, it needs to, like, deal damage or anything. Um, I don't think using your regular skills would, would work. So let's do, for example, this, this skill right here. That counts as a plus one. And what I'm going to do is... What we're, we're going to do next is we're going to try out the evasion skill and see if that would do anything so what i meant is this right here one second oh no the monster's about to die to death countdown but i was gonna do this one let's see if that counts it doesn't so we need you need to deal obviously regular damage and it looks like when your allies are also dealing damage it doesn't actually count towards that either so it needs to be him specifically attacking in order for that to actually work so again if it's your allies doing the damage like this for example that won't count as a plus one or anything like that so just something to to keep an eye out you know what i mean just watch out from and another thing is the monster's awakening is basically useless um if uh which you might call it none of your monsters are dead so for example if you were to use this as you guys can see um you can't really use it you know what i mean because the monsters are obviously alive but if this was the last monster alive in, in the battle, you don't have to worry about it. You know what I mean? You don't, you don't get a stress much because obviously he can deal damage and obviously he could also bring back allies as well. So it's it's pretty good. Um, I actually like this monster. I think, the, I think this monster has potential for sure in the, uh, what should I call it, in the competitive scene or just, just in general. You know what I mean? I, I'm pretty sure this, this monster will definitely get used a lot. Yeah, look at this. Pleasure Roshi running it with uh, more than one speed, obviously make the monster more faster so that uh the monster gets to the turn and basically um you know what i mean resurrects and stuff look at this so this player's running two speed yeah you gotta run at least two speed guys that is uh that's gonna be the meta with this monster i can already see it yep two speed and one strength i want to see what relics are running they're running obscure sword after damaging where skill the warrior's life is above 50 percent deals the damage obviously so it doesn't really give him any um what you might call it although adventures essence would be cool i would say for sure but uh i was gonna say it doesn't really give him uh, any type of advantage like uh, the sword for example there aren't i don't think there are any swords the players are actually using where it'll count as a plus two charge you know how like in the past with just injustice it was like laser beam sword and a few other ones where basically uh when they're uh attacking and dealing uh damage or whatever it'll basically count as a plus one uh from the relic so that that was pretty op but here we're just gonna we're just gonna have to basically deal damage regularly you know what i mean just like normally um but anyways this is gonna be a bit difficult if my my monsters start dying i can't resurrect i gotta be careful with this one i really do so we gotta take care of the big threat here first so we really gotta eliminate bashir here asap so bashir you're gonna have to get eliminated i'm gonna have to deal some damage to you all right the monster had some insane damage boost there so we 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 gotta be careful, man. Oh man! All right. Um, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this so I can PR some of those stuff. And then I think he has a he had a positive effect protection or something because I tried PRing and it didn't PR everything. It just PR'd one thing, and I'm pretty sure it was that. Um, but it's fine. So yeah, this monster is gonna get his awakening soon. We gotta be really careful. Yeah, look at that. He's just getting that those plus ones. But I really want to use my awakening. It's just that these guys are not doing it. Can we just? We just mess with this monster for a little bit yeah let's let's let bashir get a turn in and go crazy and i want him to actually get his awakening so that he eliminates somebody you know what i mean so i'm gonna do this and let him um let him get a turn in all right i really want him to get his awakening man he can't even get his awakening i just noticed he, he really can't 
No, no matter what he does, he can't get it. He's just gonna be dealing the damage, and that's how he, you know, he charges up. So this, this battle is like a straight win for me, basically. But yeah, like like I said, so we already used this evasion one uh, that deals damage and applies evasion to itself. And there's a remove evasion as well, AoE. And then there's a heavy dark damage with, that comes with fear as well. So you can apply that fear, which basically makes the enemy lose a turn, which is really good. So the monster had to charge up. And I'm going to go ahead and charge up here as well. And then we're going to do... Oh, I, I guess if we use our evasion double damage and he like removes that, that, that'll technically count as a plus one for him. Yeah, so technically we can trigger his awakening if we are patient enough. So it looks like he's actually one away here. And I'm going to go ahead and do my evasion. And there we go. He finally got his awakening. Hopefully he ends up eliminating my euro. I've never actually wanted this to happen, but here we go. Please use your ultimate, man. Please use your awakening. Come on, stop messing with me. He's literally trolling. Look at him, guys. He's trolling. Or I think what he's trying to do is try, he's trying to make them as weak as possible, like get their health low so that he gets his awakening and then uses it and eliminates more than one monster. I think that's what he's trying to do. So he's trying to be sneaky. We got to be careful. I'm going to do this just so that I can get a plus one from my awakening. And then can he please just attack? Okay, I'm getting kind of tired. I've been charging for like a really long time and all he's doing is just attacking like that. And then he just charges up. He doesn't even use his awakening. So this is really boring, man. I, I can't believe it. That's that's just crazy. He's not using, He's not doing it. He finally eliminated my monster, but he's okay. That's crazy. And obviously, I don't want to resurrect. So let's just let's just eliminate him, man. Let me give him give him my triple damage, and I'm just gonna go crazy on him. There you go, 1.4 million damage, and I also got my awakening at the end as well. But that was that was kind of annoying. The, the fact that he wasn't um, using his awakening at all uh, against me. So, anyways, we got another tier five, but I have to discard it. I have to open up these other two. We get 25 glitterine from that, and then probably another glitterine. Oh no, 25 north berries. I'll take it. All right. So, oh, I think I think Cupid will definitely eliminate one for sure. He he always tends to. So this is this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna go ahead and charge up, and I'll do my NER obviously because we have some death countdowns and stuff. Um, and I just need to uh, attack a few times, so let's go ahead and attack one time. That gives me my evasion. Obviously, evasion won't really help because we are facing Pierce. And uh, yeah, he does have a uh, block resurrection as well with Sphere of Destiny, so gotta be careful of that. I'm gonna go ahead and charge up. Oh no, my Ural is dead. Oh no, um, what, are, what are we gonna do? I can't resurrect. Wait, no, please. Wait, don't do this to me yet. Hold on. I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready yet. I can resurrect both monsters. I just need to attack two more times. Wait, there's block resurrection on both monsters. It's not just one, but it's two. Oh no, that's not looking good. Wait, what if I do this? Um, oh no, this is not looking good. What if I do my... I do want to do my fear. Let's do my AoE light damage, actually. So I do my AoE light damage. That's going to count as a plus one. But no, this is not going to be good. I, th I think th I think I want to lose against this one, guys. I'm not even kidding. Oh no, I have um I have possession. Oh, at least he attacked. Even though he attacked, it then counts as a plus one. It needs to be. A I think you need to attack the enemy. It it can't be ally. I'm pretty sure. Like that that didn't work just now when I tried it. So anyways, I'm gonna do this. Uh, hopefully that evasion you know helps me out a little bit. Yeah, it looks like um it's kind of helping out. Yeah, for sure. Here we resurrect both monsters and the bugs still exist unfortunately where when you resurrect an ally they still have negative status effects so Ural still comes up with the blind. Anyways we get, we get to possess uh, those two monsters which is really good and uh, anyways what we can do is apply the trouble damage and maybe we can PR here. Sure let's do it it didn't work um, and he ended up possessing me oh no this is not good. Okay Ural you're gonna have to make a comeback here all right Ural. He resurrected you, so you have to resurrect him back. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Now, the only issue here is that um, this is this is not gonna go well. No, <laughs> I don't think I don't think I'm gonna win this, guys. No, I think yeah, I messed around. Well, I I didn't really mess around too much. I was I was actually trying. It's just uh, the timings. Timings weren't going well for me. I'm gonna go ahead and charge up again, and I'm getting hit with a lot of torture, and those tortures unfortunately do do suck. So maybe pair it up with monsters that could remove tortures very often. I think that would definitely help out a lot. Um, and this Megaton's uh, a big issue as well here for me. So instead of attacking, I'm just going to charge up so that I could actually get rid of the... Um, let me see, that evasion. I don't think I don't know if the evasion will actually help with the ignition. But I'm going to PER actually because that Megaton's really uh, a big deal for me right now. Like that's, that's really like a big issue. I don't want him to... Oh no, he gained his Megaton again. No, that sucks. Okay, can I, can I do this? Let's do this and gain evasion back. But 
Yeah, that's that's really bad. Um, I'm gonna do my damage boost. I'm just gonna keep on doing damage boost until um I can actually eliminate that Megatons. Uh, the only the, our only issue right now is a Megaton. After after the Megaton's dead, this is gonna be an easy battle. Let me see. I can't really do do a lot of damage. Removes evasion. I don't really want that. Um, I need stamina for next turn as well. I think he's gonna he's gonna die to the curse for sure. But just to be, let me see. 40% of life, is that 40%? No, I don't think so. I'm going to do this just so that we um, we definitely eliminate him with the curse. No, wow, that, that was really close. What the heck? I really thought that was going to be enough, but I guess not. All right, so here we can PR or NER. I think it's best to PR, obviously. So we get rid of that Megatons. And now finally, after so long, we can finally eliminate... Oh wait, there's taunts. I forgot about that. Oh, I'm such a noob. I didn't even see that. I forgot he has a taunt trait. But anyways, if unless we actually had access to that um that one skill, you guys know when he unlocks it later on. You know that one skill when he unlocks later on. Um, I think at rank two or something, where he gets cold blood and he ignores all the taunts and everything. That would have been cool. But anyways, we keep resurrecting. We literally have two resurrectors on our team, and this is just unstoppable, guys. Look at that. Finally, we were able to get rid of this team. Um, the only issue is, obviously, these guys were at 150. That's why it took me so long. Um, if this was a 150, obviously, with, like, really good runes, um, I'm talking even, like, level 10. It doesn't have to be necessarily, like, 12 above. But like um the runes in general uh could have definitely helped out a lot if it was at least level 10 for sure like what would these guys have if, if i had the same thing this battle would have been over a long time ago uh the only issue was obviously the megatons and us not being able to deal enough damage obviously as well so our attacker was a bit weak but anyways guys like i said make sure to run at least uh two speed on one strength or you could do two strengths on one speed you can play it a little bit differently but a, lo a lot of players seem like they're actually running, um, which might call it. They're running two speed as you see. So a lot of top players are definitely, definitely doing that. Um, I this player doesn't have it, but anyways, you guys get the point. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this monster. I might actually do a part two or even part three where I actually rank the monster up. So uh, make sure you guys do drop a sub and make sure you have notifications on to see that. But anyways, guys, this is gonna wrap it up. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.